Ben, I think I think it's been great this summer. Everybody's bought in. Um, you know, we had our off day yesterday, and every single person on the team was in the gym getting extra shots. And, and you know, I think that's that's a, can can contribute to a great season. What are some of the things you've done to try to bring that winning attitude that you are accustomed to to this team? Yeah, lead by example is the biggest thing for me. You know, I can't be preaching culture and and uh, guys getting an extra shots like that if I'm not doing it. So uh, me and Anthony shoot together every single day, try and get a 45 hour. 45 minutes to an hour workout every day, um, and we try and encourage guys and bring them along. And everybody's bought in. It. It's been great to see, honestly. You know, we got guys in here, and uh, everybody they said worked out before 10:30 a.m. yesterday on the off day. So when you have that man and guys buy in, it's it's that's that's how you become successful. We haven't had a chance to see Bryson Tucker yet, obviously, but you've been him, you've enjoyed the summer with him so far. Tell me a little bit about his game, or what he brings, and also what kind of tool he is off the court. Yeah, uh, Tuck is uh, he's a great kid, man. He's Nothing but a great locker room guy, and he's one of the more gifted um, athletes that I've ever seen. You know, I know some stuff on Jakai's got on about his 40 inch vertical and stuff like that. I think Tuck is right there with him, man. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, he just, I have trouble getting, you know, running, starting, dunking the ball, and Tuck's just standing <laughs> under the rim and, you know, windmill and stuff. So, uh, super confident kid. You know, in practice every day, he comes comes in ready to work hard, and he's done nothing, nothing other than buy into the culture and, and brought it every day in practice. Um, and done exactly, you know, what, what comes to best of him, and he's gotten a lot better. How much does it help in this regard to getting ready for a season in that with you, McKenzie, Bryce, and even Anthony and Trey to some extent? You guys are interchangeable parts at different spots, you know, in those random spots where, you know, you could be a four, you know, not going to be a four. Some guys, you got to be twos, you know, whatever. Whatever you need to do, you've got that kind of versatility with a lot of players this year. Yeah, I think it's going to be really hard to scout. You know, we're going to have different looks all season. When you talk about playing small and bringing me and Mac together at the same time, I mean, you could put Malik at the five if you wanted to. You could put Balo at the five. And then when you go big and have Malik and Balo in together and LT thrown in there, I mean, uh, there's potentials for a lot of things. And I think that makes our team really hard, really hard to scout because we're going to come with different packages based on personnel and stuff like that. And the coaches are going to do a great job, you know, putting us in position to do that. And obviously you're used to being in very competitive practice situations. Yes. Yeah. They don't know anyway. You see a lot of that same thing here with so much talent here um, where you guys going at it every day between now and November 6th is uh, you're going to tell a, learn a lot about everybody, right? A hundred percent. Yeah. Practice is obviously where you earn your time, earn your, Earn your stripes, and when you have a bunch of talented people, uh, regardless of age, it's it's great because you come in here and you know you got to work hard every day um, and and earn earn that playing time, earn those minutes, and and uh, you know you got to prove to the coaches why they should play you when the, when November six comes around. So I'm looking forward to to playing against another jersey, though. It's you know I've been playing against these guys now for four months, and I'm just ready to kind of get to the season for sure. sure. One last question too. Yep. I know you enjoyed your time in the Alliance. Yes, sir. You're an Indiana native, Indiana kid. We've seen the pictures of you as a little kid with oh, Indiana yeah. stuff on. Yeah. I mean, what's it like to just to, to slide this jersey on now and be a part of this team, this program, this history? Yeah, man, it's a dream come true. It really is. Uh, it's one of the other parts of the media that we did in house. They asked, you know, what's something that you tell your younger self and. It was crazy. I was like, man, just keep going. You know, I used to, I, I got candy stripes as a Christmas present when I was 10 years old, and now I'm going to be wearing them warming up. So it's just, it's going to be a special moment, man, when I run out in those candy stripes. So it means that much more. What so, was yeah. that conversation like with Woodson when it came to you committing here? Yeah, um, you know, I, I kind of had an idea of a couple schools that when I was in the portal that I would, you know, consider if they reached out to me. And I got the phone call from uh, Coach Walsh and Coach Woodson, and, you know, I scheduled my visit, and when I got here, it was, it was everything I wanted. You know, I saw the role, uh, the opportunity that I could have um, coming to the school, and, and I trusted Coach Woodson and, and what he's got with this program, and, uh, you know, it was a pretty, pretty easy decision for me. I'm not asking you to talk about specific guys, but just <laughs> as an Indiana guy, what would it mean to you to bring in more Indiana guys into this program? And this program? Yeah, it'd be great. It'd be great. You know, it's, it's guys like me and Trey and Anthony that can – can advocate for Indian high school players playing in Indiana. You know, Jordan Holtz too, he's on staff here, grew up in Indiana from Bloomington and had a super successful career. You know, I think winning the championship and winning this year um, is very important because they see Indiana kids come to Indiana and then be successful. I think that's the biggest thing. So looking forward to this season, uh, regardless who it is that they're recruiting, um, you know, they're going to see a team that's, I mean, I'm very excited for the season. So when they see Indiana kids succeed at this level as well at a school like Indiana, it's it's going to make it a lot, um, a very good look for them. 
you said on the podcast with Miller about your first shot here yeah. in Bloomington. What's it going to mean to you when you take the floor in those candy stripes for the fans? Yeah. The well, the first shot was a make, so it was great. But uh, <laughs> the second one, not so much. It's about five feet short. But, uh, you know, um, it, it was great. I was super excited to come back and play in Assembly Hall in a different jersey. And, you know, when I would hit shots here in the last couple games, it would go quiet or I would get booed. And now it's going to be, you know, very loud. So that's going to be awesome, man. I'm just excited and looking forward to that opportunity and uh, and being able to play in Assembly Hall when they're actually cheering for me, not against me. So you're kind of similar to Miller coming over from a Big Ten school. What's it, what's it like learning from him a little bit now that he's in town? Yeah, um, you know, we've had some conversations. I've known him, played against him at both schools he was at. Um, and I know he's a good player. He's a great player. And, uh, you know, he did he, – he, he was, he was good at Indiana as well, so just being able to bounce ideas back and forth, you know. Um, my situation is a little unique because I graduated in three years. Um, you know, I feel like the the way that I left Illinois, in my opinion, was about the best way you could do it in today's world. You know, everybody these days are leaving for the slightest reason. You know, I left because I graduated. My time was done, helped, you know, win two championships, and, and last season, obviously, it was great. So. Um, you know, that transition for myself has been smooth. That coaching staff over there, talk to them all the time. So, I mean, it's forever relationship. So, in today's world, you don't see that. So, I'm grateful for my time there. Um, having Miller, some guy that's come from the, another Big Ten school as well, it's been great to talk to him. But um, every, the transition, everything has is, is been, you know, it's been great. So. What are the similarities between Coach Underwood and Coach Woodson? Yeah, um, their demeanor is very different. I'll say that. <laughs> Coach, Coach Woodson is a lot more laid back than Coach Brad, but. Um, the big similarity is they both expect the highest standard of, of what you, the highest quality of basketball, the highest standard of what you can bring as a person and as a basketball player. You know, Coach Brad was nothing other than winning, man. That was his thing. And Coach Woodson is, is nothing but, you know, coming here and, and bring the most that you've got. And, and you know, you got to earn everything. And, and uh, you know, he, he knows how to win. He's done it, proved it in the NBA. You know, um, he's had some injury problems in the past at IU uh, with the roster and everything like that. But with this team this year and with Coach Woodson, I have the most the most confidence that we have a real opportunity to be special this year. I don't want to harp on your past too much. Yeah, no, it's all good. You're good, you're but good. What's your favorite memory about being at Illinois and State Farm Center? Uh, you know, State Farm Center was great. I love my time there. Um, the best memory was probably, that's a great question, man. Uh, when we won, when we beat Iowa at home to win the Big Ten regular season my freshman year, Storm uh, Court Storm was, always remember that. And then the Sweet 16 last year was the best basketball memory. I mean, hit a big three with a couple minutes to go, hit a couple big free throws, and, and you know, that's the first time that program's been back to the Elite Eight. So, um, you know, I've been telling the guys on the team, man, it's it's the most underrated part of what I bring to a program is my my past. Like, I get it. I know, I know what it takes. So I've been telling these guys, like, you don't understand how fun that second weekend is, man. It's, it's special. It's really special. So being blessed with an opportunity to play in the second weekend, it just helps me bring that to this program. And, um, you know, I want to see that for this program, these guys as well, and see them enjoy that. Last question. 